Good morning, gangsters. We're back with another vlog. Uh, today's just gonna be really chill. So if you follow me on Instagram, yesterday you would have seen that I absolutely destroyed a roll of 120 millimeter film, and that was because I developed it wrong. I didn't put the developer in, I put the hypoclear in, and so it just cleared all of the film. All 12 shots. So I have to reshoot this roll of film by Friday. It's currently Tuesday. And so I'm gonna mosey on over to Cascade where I shot a couple of the photos and see if I can reshoot to a certain extent. Now, it's like a 20 minute drive from my house, so I might stop along the way, take pictures of the clouds and the mountains. Yeah, we're going. So I, uh, I pulled over on the way to Cascade and it's on the way there, it's this massive valley and today's specifically foggy. And if you look out there, ah, these mountains look really cool. So I'm gonna put the FPV up and I'm gonna see if we can fly around these mountains a little bit. I just got some ND filters for the GoPro too. So I'm excited to try those out and see how they look. The weather in this valley looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna set up the FPV and we'll come back, yeah. Uh, so, oh, I didn't hit record on the GoPro, that's bad. It's, it is raining like a little bit, and I don't think I should be flying for too long, so I'll make this quick, but I gotta go hit record on the GoPro. I won't fly to manual this far out because um, I don't want to like lose connection and crash it like I did last time I flew it. But this is looking pretty cool over here. Whoa. Fog is insane. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll do a flyback in manual. If I can put it out there in sport mode and fly back in manual, that's not what I think I should indicate. Full manual. Here we go. Full. This looks so cool. Oh jeez. This is some of the food. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Okay, it's giving me a battery low warning. Just like that, I went from 20, I went from 50% to 25%. Where is it, it's above me? Oh, it is up there. I hope I got some cool footage. Um, I was in the fog and I was whipping over the trees, so I think, I think I got some. So I made it to Cascade parking lot and there's not a single soul here. So that is good for me so I can take my time. The other problem is, is raining, fun. Um, like between the five minutes it took to get from the FPV spot to here, it started pouring rain. Um, it's mostly undercover, like most of it's undercover, so I'm not worried about getting wet. Uh, I'm worried about the camera when I get down to the waterfall though, because it's not my camera and I don't know how sensitive it is to water. So hopefully I get the shots that I want. Let's go. So, Bag is full. The worst part about this is gonna be carrying this massive tripod because I need it to shoot oh, the Hasselblad on. I'm shooting on a Hasselblad 500C. I shot an entire roll of film on it before and then developed it wrong. So I have nothing to show for it. This is like a five minute hike with a full ass backpack and a tripod. Oh, here we go.
I climbed under this bridge. Um, it's less wet here, but there's an issue. We have an issue. The issue being, there's this string that goes across the composition. It secures the bridge. And um, I can't edit that out of film photos. So I have to go down there. Nah, I have to climb down there. So that's going to be fun. Not. It's raining. I think I'm going to sit and have some tea before I go down there because it's slightly less wet here than it is down there. Yeah, tea time. Cheers. I changed my mind. I think I'm gonna shoot from up here uh, just because I don't know, maybe I could get a composition. One of the things about the Hasselblad is that it only has a uh, 80 millimeter lens, which is about a 50 full frame equivalent. So I can't get too close or I'm only gonna be shooting like the bottom quarter. So I wanna see what I can get up here before I head down there uh, because it's a bit farther back and a bit wider. So I have my toque over the Hasselblad so it don't get wet. Um, and I found, I found a composition that I liked. So I'm going to shoot this uh, at a couple different apertures just to see uh, like kind of what depth of field I want. Uh, I'll probably end up going with the shallow depth of field because I'm a sucker for like shallow depth of field. Uh, but we'll see here. Let's go. So that was, uh, that was three photos, one at one second at 16, F16, one at one eighth of a second, and one at one fifteenth of a second. So hopefully those turn out good. I am going to climb out of here and, oh wait. No, I'm not gonna go down. Um, yeah, I'm gonna climb out of here and yeah, I'll see you back at the car. Spot I could fly, it's over top of a river, uh, a bridge more specifically. Uh, so I was driving this way and I thought hmm, this looks high enough I could fly down there and out there so that's what I'm gonna do <laughs> a little nervous that rock has a, these rocks have faces on them where is it ah, that rock that rock right there and that rock right there but I'm gonna throw the drone up and uh, this is really zoomed in on my face. I'm gonna throw the drone up and see what kind of clips we can get. Uh, I'm excited. I have the Polar Pro 8 ND on it. Um, so I'm gonna see, I, sh I, sh I slowed my shutter down to uh, 1 over 48. So I'm hoping this looks a little bit uh, cooler than the 60 frames a second. Cause I don't really need to slow it down for anything. So that looks hella cool on the top. I'm gonna set that up, I'm gonna let it fly here. All right.
FPV gets my heart pumping. It's whew. that was really cool. I think I'm gonna watch those clips back um, right now and then maybe head up a little bit further. I know I have one battery left for the drone, and I think one battery for the GoPro as well. Um, the GoPro will outlast the drone, but that was some cool clips. I did a couple laps because I was nervous that I wasn't gonna get the clip. So the first time I went around and I kind of bailed out, the second time I went through and the third time I bailed out, but I'm gonna watch these back. Watching this footage back, I think I might have un underexposed it a little bit. And with such a low shutter, I'm worried that the edges of the frames are gonna be all shaky and stuff. So I'm exporting one of the clips right now to my phone and it's, de it's definitely underexposed, but um, I'm worried about like if the shutter, or the, if the motion blurs too much. The footage, I think I should do it one more time up the shutter just a little bit and take the ND filter off because it's too dark. Yeah, here we go. Every time I do that, I feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack. That was the last rip, uh, that was the last battery. It was only at 50% like the others. So I'm gonna load up the last of the footage now and probably head home. Honestly, I think I'm, I have a good amount of content for today. So I continued up the forest service road and then I saw another road, this road specifically. Um, it goes up there, but my car can't fit across the ditch. So I'm just gonna hike up to the top and see if there is photos to be taken. I'm not excited for this. Well, I kind of am because I'm doing it, but um, I got the whole kit on me again and I have to go all the way up there on foot. So uh, hopefully it pays off. It stopped raining, which is nice. Let's hike my, hike my ass up to the top. I reached the top of the hill. And this is a really nice view. Oh man. Let's get around the corner and I'll show you guys. Hey look, a stream for me to cross. Look at this. Ain't that a view. I'm gonna keep climbing though to see if I can get higher as it wraps, it wraps around that way. So I'm gonna keep going. To the top, it looks like people come up here all the time to have little campfires and stuff and shoot guns. But this is our view. Phenomenal. If you look this way, that's just as nice. Truly breathtaking. Now I'm gonna put this camera down on the tripod and set up the hassle blood. So that's what I'm gonna do now.
This composition looks insane. I'm gonna love this. Man, I got it. Okay, so our spot meter says uh, 125th of a second at 2.8.7, which really means it's closer to F4 than it is 2.8. So I'm just gonna overexpose it by going to 2.8. But then if I want, I'm gonna probably shoot it at 130th at 5.6 because I want a higher depth of field. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. I always, always, always forget to take the, this thing, I don't know what it's called. I just forget to take it out. Nice, okay. I've shot five now. I've shot five photos, so I think I'm gonna save the other seven for portraits on Thursday because I called up one of my friends and I was like, hey, I need to redo some of the portraits that I took on this. Not the same person, but I, <laughs> I lost about four or five really nice portraits when I decided that um, HypoClear would be my developer. So I gotta go shoot more portraits. I like shooting portraits and I haven't seen my friends in a while because they live out yonder. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so we made it back down to my car. No one broke into it. I did see a truck come up and I thought they were gonna throw a rock through my window. They didn't. Uh, I'm gonna head back home now because it's currently 3.30. Sun's gonna go down in half an hour and I'll pick up the vlog on Thursday when I go to shoot more portraits and I'll be with Kenzie. So Thursday.